Um, today we had some conflict amidst our group, which is to be expected because our team is so different. Um, the conflict was about our coder not wanting to really develop the features that are absolutely essential to what Chibo is, such as the location services and swiping left and right, mainly because um, of the time crunch, which is understandable, but at the same time, um, I don't know, I feel like she wants to focus more on the front end stuff, um, which we don't, I mean, which is important too, but those two features are absolutely essential to to the product. Like without those features, we would have no value. And so um, this conflict was exactly the thing I was hoping to avoid because I don't like confronting other people, but um, Savannah, the designer is really good at diffusing the tension and being the mediator between all of us. Um, lately, I've been feeling like like sharing my idea with other people is almost similar to letting a human baby be dressed up with like bows and dresses and just everything by other people, and and you have to pretend that you like it. Um, people who have different ideas for Chibo. Um, are, is either a good thing or a bad thing. Oh, it's a good thing because I like to see that you know they're passionate about the idea and they like it and I like the positive feedback but um, when they try to add more features to it I'm just I I can't help but feel a little irritated um, and I'm not sure if I like people adding all of these features because I think they're kind of unnecessary to what Chibo is to me like what it is in my head. One of the great things that I love about my company is its simplicity. You know, you just swipe left on pictures you don't like and swipe right on the ones that you do and then and then the app directs you to the restaurant from where the dish is from and that's it. That's literally it. Um, but I feel like when people add too many features, it doesn't become mine anymore. Um, and technically, you know, I mean, even though I did think of the idea, um, I'm working on it on with a team, and so if they're on board too, they should have some say in it as well. Um, yeah, maybe I'm just being a really I'm just being close-minded right now, but I find it hard to collaborate when when the idea is almost like you know it's kind of like my child. Um, um, I just have to understand that um, you know we all want the best for this company, but we take different ways of approaching it. And that's one of the most important things I've learned on this trip. Um, we also had a really good presentation about customer engagement strategies and tactics for web and mobile apps, um, which was super informative. Um, probably one of the best presentations EIA has had so far. Um, and I feel like I've been learning so much over the last few days. Like, it's it's crazy. I think one speaker was saying that once entrepreneurship is in your bloodstream, it's hard to get out. And now, now I'm finally beginning to realize that, you know, um, I mean, I never would have thought entrepreneurship and startups would have had such a huge impact in my life. I mean, last semester, I didn't even know what a startup was. I just kind of joined one and then I was like, oh, okay, this is what it's about. And it's really interesting to be, you know, in Europe, kind of experiencing the startup industry through another perspective. Um, and I think I wrote about this in my essay when I was applying to this program. But I really wanted to see how, you know, um, you know, entrepreneurship and startups functioned outside of the Silicon Valley bubble. And so being here is really a great opportunity to, you know, not only learn about another culture, um, but to understand how different people think about the same trends in the technology industry that are happening right now and kind of see their perspective on it. Um, also, I'm starting to like the uncertainty of the startup industry. Um, before, I would always be kind of a control freak and I would always like to have things planned out, but now I'm finding it easier to adapt to unexpected changes. And I know that unexpected changes are a constant in the startup industry. Oh, and another thing, um, Anod's computer crashed and um, Arjun almost saved it but didn't so Anand's gonna go to Nice tomorrow to the Apple store to fix it up but he lost all of his data and yeah 
is I just hope that we can salvage some of the market research that we did over the last three days. Um, yeah, like the cloud's there for a reason. I don't know why he didn't use it. But anyway, what's done is done and stuff like this happens and we just have to kind of move on. But yeah, that was pretty much my day.